I can feel the energy, and yes, the past is history. Heavy meditation keeping me away from misery. Walking through the galaxy when I wake up back to reality. I get so fucking high, I can't feel anything. Light another blunt, all my problems start to drain. Henny in my cup, cause it numbs my brain. I'm so fucked up that I can't think. I'm so fucked up that I can't think. I get high, everything is okay Even though I'm high every second of the day yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing I get high, everything is okay Even though I'm high every second of the day yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing I get high, everything is okay Okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day I've been through this before, so it's just a replay I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing I get high, everything is okay Even though I'm high every second of the day I've been through this before, so it's just a replay I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing Oh, hello, Jerkov. So good morning. <laughs> What's up, boy? Yo. Morning, Masshole. Good morning, Vermonster. Good to see you, fellas. Good to my see dude, you. My new Chris Daniels hit me up yesterday. Only noise hit me up too for the logo. Well, he he, he said to me, "Morning, naughty Nikki." He said, "Man, do you want a traditional wedding video, or do you want like a only noise brain jerk mashup?" And I'm like, "What do you fucking think, bro?" What you right? Is that even a real question? I wore the dress, dude. What do you think? Yeah, world but says smash like, that like button like it's hot. No, he just he just uh, wanted to make sure that oh, he, he was allowed to do it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up? Good morning, Jess. Let's Good morning, have, let's have the most let's have the most untraditional wedding, but give me a traditional wedding video. Whoa, whoa! It better yep. look real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Big Kaz in the morning. What up, bro? Uh, don't forget, this Thursday we'll be teaming up with Biz K Big Kaz and his crew from uh, Pro Wrestling Edge podcast. And we're going to be uh, broadcasting IWR7. We're going to have some awesome matches, including uh, a six-man six gauntlet that... Every time someone loses, they're eliminated, and somebody else comes out. And when it comes down to the final two guys, it's it's a no rules, hardcore match. That's cool. Yep. And then uh, we have a uh, Ryan at the final. The final one is Rhino and Tommy Dreamer versus Dread King Logan. The Dread King Logan. And uh, uh, what's I, his name escapes me all of a sudden. Oh, the franchise. There you go. In the franchise, 
dude, that's going to be an awesome, awesome match. First of all, first of all, Dread King Logan is hype as fuck. Dread King he Logan, is. he's one of those guys that, you know, he's come to destroy everyone. Yeah, but you're you're facing two legends. Well, two. The, he's tagged with one and he's tagged and he's Yeah, but you Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh, he's gonna die on camera. Good morning, CSL. Squirrel says, "By now, I have to apply for a passport to prove I'm vaccinated, or I can't go anywhere." What? <laughs> he, that's bullshit. That's some bullshit right there. <laughs> Nazi, Ger- Nazi Germany brought to the world. Darts shop. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. What up, Bodie? Good morning. Good morning, Ma. One morning in the handsomes. She called you handsome. She called you handsome. Can't. She does every day, bro. Don't don't act like it's something Douglas. new, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. See, and I told I told uh I told Brandon here when we I saw him Friday, I was like, dude, we we're into wrestling, but not like you. Like we we basically got back into it because of Rhino, IWR. So like I, I told him, I was like, "You guys are bringing the knowledge here." <laughs> I want to dip my toes into everything, though. Yes, exactly. Trimming cannabis today. I'll be doing that in about three days. I'll be trimming mine. That'd be good. Hey, tear up. Do you want to become rich and famous and buy followers? Yeah. How do <laughs> I do that? <laughs> oh, you just go to bigfollows.com. Oh, oh, I'm going to be famous. Oh, Sig, Sig Clips says Thanks. so. Thanks, dude. <laughs> wow. That was not a paid advertisement. It wasn't, but I'm going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Dread King Logan is going to make IWR his kingdom. Ooh, he already is getting there. He's destroyed everyone. <laughs> That last one we were at, uh, Dread King got suplexed right in front of our table. That was sick as hell. That was sort of counter. Yep, that was cool. Masshole, squirrels, you got this. My mom says, River says, hi, Uncle Josh. What's up, River? Hope you're having a good day, big guy. I can't wait to see you again. That's the coolest name ever. His brother's name is Roscoe. Roscoe. Like Roscoe off of uh, like Roscoe. There, what other kind of Roscoe is there? <laughs> uh, a yeah, Roscoe P. Coltrane. <laughs> what's the P? <laughs> what's the P stand for? Penis. Roscoe Penis Coltrane. <laughs> sounds sounds the best, dude. I, mean, I guess. I guess. Percival. Roscoe Percival Coltrane. Percy? That's not his real middle name, but that sounds like cool. I don't even know what P stands for. Paul Tuckett? <laughs> Paul Tuckett. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. So, how was your day yesterday? I got... I, I was my own IT guy, and I got internet in the house. Oh, you mean uh, a guy that sets up the internet came to your house and set no. it up? No, no, Tyler did. You did it? Oh shit, dude! I got okay. I bought the internet last night. I don't it's believe it. I don't believe it. I swear it. to God on my life, <laughs> in two days, in hey. two days was supposed to be the. River the, says he's just Roscoe. <laughs> uh. No, it's not Ro- Roscoe Penis Gold Drain, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, I bought it yesterday. They said they sent you a star a starter kit to get you started off on uh, the internet. You can get this to do it. So I just started looking up shit. I started doing I went to this school of YouTube, and I started looking up shit, and then I seen something. I was like, I can activate this online. I seen somebody do the starting kit, and I did it myself without my starting kit. Swear to God. 
He's, she Look says, uh, he's telling the truth. I was shocked. He didn't throw anything or lose his shit at all. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Congratulations, Mr. Technical Rup. <laughs> yeah, the T stands for technical, bitch. <laughs> See what you can do when you actually put your fucking mind and effort to it? Dude, I was like. I don't want to hear like, that excuse of brain injury ever again. Yeah, I was like, I was sitting there. I was like, a, I, I know you don't like to be slapped in the face, but every time I hear that from now on, I'm doing, I'm slapping yeah. you right in the face. I'm calling the cops. Do it. <laughs> well, they can't do nothing. It's open handed. Hey. hey, there's no marks, bitch. I'm calling Mr. Roscoe Penis Sherman. <laughs> Coltrane. Yeah, Coltrane. <laughs> it looks like you're drinking out of a, a tin can. I am. Buy you, you Billy Flower Power, baby. <laughs> oh, that's a cool cup. I love this cup. This is my favorite cup. Hey, see, B Big Cass says uh, open hand is legal. <laughs> Don't encourage him, bro. What the fuck are you encouraging him for? Uh, no, I'm, I am, I am more bummed. I'm more bummed that you can't come to IWR now that we got these guys on board. But okay. I am I am happy that it's not going to just be me. It was like a synchronicity. Yeah. The universe knew you were going to fucking get locked down. Well, dude, what I thought is, is Matt, like, Matt, like squirrel says, hit that like button for us. It helps us in every single way possible. What I figured is we went to Vegas. There was a jillion people there and my crippled ass has to use those handrails. I can't climb up the stairs with our handrails. Yeah, I didn't touch nothing. Yeah, that's and and do you see where we're at? This yep. is what that, that's what it means. Use the phone book. No bruises. Great idea. Only th issue is I don't want to give him a concussion. I just want to make a sting. I just want it to yeah, sting. Dude. Rattle this brain one more time, bro. I'm fucking. I'm probably one hit away from it. Hey, hey, you guys. <laughs> yeah, dude, you'd be perfect. I'd look just like him. Almost. with Just with tattoos. What does that make me? The, tr the, the what is it? The, the truffle tr shuffle truffle. guy? <clears throat> no, because you're not chubby. Eh, B-Cast says, uh, where can you find a phone book anymore? <laughs> no, I, I'm sure you can find one. I think. Go to, go to Grandma's time, house. From Depending where you're at, they still deliver those, those cocksuckers. You're kidding me. You want yeah, they do. Rubber band? Yeah, I'll shoot you with a rubber band. I'm good at shooting rubber bands, and he knows it. I'm accurate. I can, I can hit a fly. I can hit a fly with a rubber band. I don't give a fuck, dude. Your two top tips of your fingers were the best thing to catch a fly. It was. You, you, were, like, you were like, what if I did this and caught a fly? I, I caught like, a fly. <laughs> I'm just happy somebody was there for that because nobody would believe that if I didn't have a witness. Dude, I don't believe it, and I seen it. Because <laughs> you were like, what if I just caught a fly like that? And we both looked at it, looked at each other, looked at it again, and said, "What? what wait. Yep. I am that guy. Uh, good day, Mitchell. He says, good day, everybody. Hope all is well. Cheers. I hope you're doing well in Australia, man. 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 I meant to say mate and man at the same time, and it came out man. Yeah. You see, you do oh, stuff. Those, you those do dinosaurs that. are sick, Ro uh, River. I almost called them rooster. <laughs> oh, dude. I love dinosaurs, bro. Yeah. t Rups loves dinosaurs for sure. They're my favorite. Um, true. Those ones are a quarter of the size from the 200 to 20 pages. Yeah. Cause they don't have all the advertisements and stuff in there anymore. Yeah. Cause nobody wants to pay for advertising on there anymore. It was epic squirrels fly that had con that fly had a contact high. He may have. I don't know, dude, but it was crazy. It was straight up. We were taught. I had just caught a bunch of flies. And I had their bodies fucking piled up. And then I, I, we were talking about how good I was. And then I was like, hey, how cool would it be if I did that? 
And I, when I did that, as I'm saying that, I caught a fly. I didn't like try to reach out to grab a fly or anything. It just flew into the. <laughs> into he the said, field. "He said, hey, what would happen if I caught a what?" And he caught a fly. There was a fly. Yep. And then so I started grabbing chopsticks. I grabbed a pair of chopsticks, and I didn't catch one with the chopsticks. Almost, but I, I almost got one though. I came close a few times. Yeah. Rasta man, Josh, yeah. Hey, man, come over here, brother, and smoke a marijuana. <laughs> hey, come over here, brother. I'll catch a fly, run a joint at the same time. <laughs> one, one handed. Yeah. Dude, I know somebody that can roll one handed off of a flat surface. Linda says, hey, nephew, welcome to the fam. Thanks for joining us to this morning. Yeah, oh yeah. Hey nephew. Jenna, nephew. You, uh, Jenna says you've always been the fly ninja. I have. Yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. If I would have went into some like real life went into boxing or something, my my hand speed would be some of the best you've ever seen. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes like this, he's like Look, look. Flies. I caught I've hey since working at, at Trappers, I've caught at least five flies it through in the air at the at the restaurant. Somebody's like, Josh, there's a fly over by the fly top. You're like, no need to fear. Josh Moore is here. A fly so, ninja is here. <laughs> you let it go and then smack it out of the ground or out he of there. And, and put a shrimp on the Barbie at the same time. Roll That's what one. You gotta do. one place one that's why gear changer was late yesterday he was uh busy putting a shrimp on the barbie jess says good morning aunt linda bodie says and then you got high mm -hmm. yep and then we uh, ate some shrimp so <laughs> the gypsy king come out last night looking like a homeless man dude and that's what Beyonce's ass sometimes i wish i would have grew up as a gypsy but then i remember no i'm no i'm I, i'm happy i didn't <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I but don't I do. Know. I would live as a gypsy. I almost did that. I almost lived as a gypsy here in America. I I really contemplated it. But then I was like, no, you need to go be a good dad. <laughs> so, you know, it was either life of a gypsy or go be a good dad. And now I got five kids. So it looks like I'm a pretty good dad. I do a good job. <laughs> He would have just been in San Francisco like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> it's Josh Moore. There's seven of us in fucking San Francisco right now. <laughs> what's up, Hippie Witch? Good morning. She says, yo, Brain Jerks, happy Shatterday. Sh Today's Saturday? Sure is. Go Fury, Gypsy Boxer, Mad Bastard. Yep, the Gypsy King. Came yeah, out with the victory cool. yesterday. Got a knockout last night against Deontay Wilder. Dude, what was epic is they tied, right? And everybody was on each person's side, like fucking. I was I was rooting for the one. King for Deontay that. Wilder won. And and me, honestly, I was like, okay, that was a tie. I'll give it a tie. Cool. Gypsy King is part of Kronk Gym, dude. That's a Detroit. Then, that's Detroit royalty yeah. in the box. And then Gypsy King come out the second time, and you couldn't fucking do. I I didn't even think Deontay Deontay boxed that 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 day. It was just you know fucking Tyson Fury I running around. I real talk. If it wasn't already in the contract, Tyson or uh, Deontay didn't earn that third fight at all. Yeah, Tyson Fury was mad that he had to fight him. You, but He's like, you know, somebody else deserves a shot. This they, dude don't. I whooped the fuck out of him. You I know? just knocked him out <laughs> twice oh, now. Yeah. Twice now he's knocked him out. Yep. And like Dude. I said, that like I said, uh, the Gypsy King is part of Detroit royalty and the Kronk Gym. Like that's that's one of the best gyms in the world. And everybody, everybody was like, uh Oh, he, he's he's not caring because he don't care about fighting Deontay Wilder. I said, if you think that man's going to give up his fucking championship and not, you know, not like, be like every, okay, I know how to beat this guy. 
especially everything he's been to to get back to this point that dude was w fought depression he gained he ended up he was like 500 pounds at one point addiction. he was a, addiction depression all these things and he overcame them all to b come back and become the, the the best boxer in the world and hands down beat the best guy in the world while he was gone while at his hands in his down prime, beat him in his prime in his main, yeah, hands down, whooped his ass, hands yep. down. Yep, came back after all that and beat the, the undisputed champion but No, I'll say came back after all that, tied, Okay, I'll figured out that. a game plan, beat the shit out of him, and then kind of was like, dude, I already know how to win. Why are you coming back for more? And then he'd come out, he'd come out looking at us and beat the shit out of him again, bro. Deontay actually came out though ready to bang. He was he he you could tell Deontay studied Tyson Fury. Cause the first couple rounds, you know, you yeah, were I like, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't gotten to check it out yet. I'm gonna, but he knocked the gypsy gypsy queen down once. Gyps, gypsy queen? You're gonna queen. you're gonna disrespect. I didn't mean to. I think Tyson. it was my I think it was You're I'm, gonna disrespect gonna Lord Tyson like that? Dude. What's up, Tyson? What's up, dog? You were just named after it Mike Tyson. Anybody with the name Tyson's a hard ass. No, he was named after Mike Tyson. I don't believe that. Uh, dude, that's what it said on his thing when they were introducing him yesterday. Uh, that finds me. Uh, uh, and I, I was like, isn't he only like 10 years younger than Mike Tyson? That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, no, but for real, dude, when they were showing the Gypsy King. Good morning, dear. Dude, I sort of got. I said he's named after Mike Tyson. I was like, "What?" Canelo, yeah, that's gonna be a, a fucking banger. No, he says Canelo. He, I don't think Canelo would beat uh, the Gypsy King. No shit. Well, big? I'm just saying, if if we're talking best boxer in the world, and we bring up different names, that heavyweight, there's a reason why they call him the best one in the world. Best boxer in the world, 100%, because, because like... No, I'm not saying been, it could never happen. Yeah. Could, could these smaller guys beat a heavyweight? Yeah, if they don't let the heavyweight hit them. Yeah. <laughs> if the heavyweight's not allowed to hit them. But think about that, dude. With 100, with 100 pounds on somebody, bro, it's... It's night and day with his bobbing and weaving. If he gets caught once, though, you're right. He's got to be perfect on the. Well, all you have to do, all you have to do, is look at the Israel Adesanya versus Blankacek fight or Howard Blakovich fight. Yeah, the dude with the super chin. Yeah, it, it was supposed yeah. to. It was a two oh five fight, right? Light heavyweight fight. But here's the thing. Uh, what's his face? Israel, Israel, Walter. Israel is fights at one seventy five, right? Yeah. So, so you're now going up fifteen pounds. He didn't even come into that fight at. He came into that fight at two hundred, not two oh five. Yeah. So now, by the time fucking fight time happens, you know Israel doesn't gain any more weight. He's at two hundred. Yeah. Bakovich gained about ten pounds after that. He's at fucking now. He's at two fifteen. Yeah. That's and Israel's way. just scraping 200. Yep. Yep. But but Blankovic knows how to fight with all that weight added. Well, that's you know what, what I mean. Saying? It don't matter. Israel, if you, if you had all your shit together and it weren't crippled, you would be able to beat me in a fight because of the power. My yeah. speed would bring my, me an advantage because I'm a lot faster. But you hit me a couple times, and, and it's like me hitting you three, three fucking – Four times. Um, yeah, because, like, I got a couple fights in my day, <laughs> and I got pecked up a lot because I'm a big guy, bro. I just choked them. I never I never gotten, like, I've gotten into boxing matches, but anytime a fight would happen where I was in, I would just bring them close and choke them out. I've slam, had a few slam their head up against a car or a wall. or. <laughs> I've been a good, I've been a good uh, fight stopper. I can make it stop. Well, it's the wrong place. Wrong place, guys. Grab them both up. Hey, push them away. That, <laughs> I'm a good. I'm a good detainer. He says that he believes Canelo's the best boxer, but I'm not gonna argue the heavy, heavy hit is a heavy hit. Yeah, 
Yeah. And other than that, I like if we're if we're talking best boxer in the world, Floyd Mayweather. I don't care what everybody says. Straight up, the best boxer in the world. He played boxing like a game of chess, bro. Whether you want to believe that, whether you want to admit that or not, like, yeah, maybe he he didn't knock people out like you th like uh, certain people think they that he should have. But that dude boxed, pointed yeah. everybody, and that's what boxing is. There wouldn't be points if you know if it was about yeah. knockouts and stuff like that. That's what it would be about. Humans want to see that gladiator entertainment shit. When you see two guys kicking each other in the face, fucking bloody as fuck, and then, you know, bare knuckle boxing, you get this bloody shit, and everybody's like, I don't like watching boxing. What's up, but the, motherfuckers, the motherfuckers that know boxing all the way, like, holy shit, this dude's head is quicker than his whole body. Like, <laughs> I don't, I, I would prefer to watch MMA over all combat sports, but I I don't mind boxing. I just wish there were like it's not any. It's not even in my top five. I like I like to watch. You know, we'll call MMA whether it's UFC, belts is whatever. You know, championship one. I like to watch kickboxing. I like to watch Muay Thai, and I like to watch uh, jujitsu and wrestling, and then I like to watch boxing. Yeah. So I mean, it's just. It's not enough action for me, like boxing wise. Yeah, they're swinging, they're coming at you, some of them. But most of the time, if it's a twelve round fight, these guys are fucking just bobbing and weaving and yeah. But I feel like it's so you feel, long. You got to feel each other out. But yes, that's exactly it. It's so long. I feel like UFC, dude. Even like the championship round oh, that's one. Okay, no, that's good. I like that. I like the the little bit of a longer because then it's like you you add in the endurance factor to things yeah. because i mean we bring it up a lot is nate diaz got his ass whooped for five rounds and still because of his endurance endurance almost fucking uh knocked i forget guy's name out edwards leon edwards out with one minute yeah. to go like conditioning in those sports is everything and sports period is everything yeah, boxing's big on it too, but it's like it's I don't know. It's just put Canelo in the ring with Floyd again, and I strongly believe the outcome will be opposite way. Uh, well, here's the thing: Floyd's also old as fuck now and retired. So I mean, I don't disagree with you there. I believe Canelo would beat Floyd Mayweather right now, but if you put them in their in there together in their primes, I, it'll be an awesome fight. I'll tell you that. I don't know who would win. I'll give you that. It would be one of the best fights of all time. Hey. All right, Mass. I'll see you later, bro. His signal sucks, he says. Got to bounce, dog. Peace out. Oh, man. I'm fucking sore as but, fuck today. Wait a minute. Didn't you do that on here? I'm pretty sure I've seen that. What? Do what? I don't Re refresh our memories, Naughty. Hit him with a hit him with a left, right, right. I mean, I have choked T Rep out on live before. I I choked Josh out in the first studio. <laughs> it was actually it was actually on the border of the first studio. How many? What's our record? What's your record versus me though? Like two and fifteen. <laughs> Yeah, boy. It's, but that's the power. You can catch me because you're because you're strong. Yeah, because like in a that's real situation, the wall I'm crippled as fuck. But what? I'm just big. What? <laughs> we both did the same thing. You, your signal sh went shit. I wasn't. Oh, what okay. up, Rosin? Uh, <laughs> no, why? Why you caught me that one time was because you caught me legit one time. No, no assistance whatsoever. But the second time you pinned me up against the wall and then lifted me. So then you were literally hanging me to death. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, if he if he's folded, he's going to have to tap because he can't go nowhere. If his feet are off the ground. I totally <laughs> used the cage to my advantage. You did. Totally. You really did. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs>
But uh, yeah, I'm all crippled and big and shit. But the big shit, once I well, if if me. I get if T Rup can sit down and fight me and re and and wrestle me, it's it's I have a very hard time doing what I want to do. But if if T Rup is standing or on his uh, laying down anywhere but sitting, I I pretty much can have my way with him. Yeah, because I can't get on my knees when I'm laying down. So I can't get up in the stance and I and I'm really unsure about myself when I'm walking. Yeah. But, it's and it's I'm fun. don't Josh and never let's, let's remember the only reason we wrestle that I started wrestling around with you is to to teach you that, bro, you're not a crippled dude. <laughs> no, and Josh never started any of the fights. It was always me. <laughs> I just defend myself. He just ended 15 out of 17. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Two times I was the aggressor and I beat his ass. But even when he sneaks me, this. even when he's it, neither of the times he beat me, he snuck me. You know, he'll sneak me. And I, I so far, every time I've gotten out of it. Yeah. That was bullshit, dude. I don't want to talk about hey, it. Hey, I will tell you though that that one time when you pinned me up against the wall and hung me, that did that did hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I was not I wasn't going to uh I uh tap out, but then it was it felt like you were going to squeeze my head off. Dude, dude, I was standing, I was like if I can pick him up without feeling unbalanced, then I can do it. And then I tried to pick you up without the wall, and then I and then like it was like wobbly, so I was like, "All right, I'm going to use the wall, put him on the wall, and then fold him into himself. Yep. <laughs> break his spine. <laughs> That's that exactly was where right. it was. Like, the wall's going to help me pick up Josh. Yo, how much do you weigh? Three, 350. I'm at, I'm at 170. <laughs> Whoop his ass. You're, you're over double. Can't argue that. He's too old now, yeah. He's not heavy. He's my brother. Uh, what up, Night Train? Uh, oh, man. And how tall is Tyson Fury? I think he's like 6'7", right? Uh, something like that. It's a big man, dude. It's a lot of person. What up, Hook? Much love, he says. Uh, Bodie says, do a slap competition. See who wins there. T-Rup will win. But actually, maybe not, because he does have a super disadvantage with his brain injury. Yeah. The, uh, so <laughs> and, and, his, and his slap shoulder is messed up. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. No, because I don't <laughs> want to get hit in the head. Yep. Everyone hit that thumbs up. Bong on. Somebody comes up and, like, shakes my head. I'm like, dude, you're going to give me shaking baby syndrome. Stop. I don't want it. You'll get all dizzy. Dude, ever since the fucking the alien ride, I'm fucking scared of fucking now. Because I was like, I want to go to Cedar Point one day. You know, and, and maybe, you know, and then I was like, once I got off that ride, I was like, I'm never going to ride a fucking roller coaster again. Dude, I was, uh, I watched that highlight. Good morning, cold-blooded. I watched that highlight last this morning from the fight, and I was like, Damn! Put the damsel. This is an earth dweller of yeah, the day. Of the day. <laughs> of the day. This, this is, is an earth, earth dweller, dweller of, of the day. day. This, this is, is an earth dweller, dweller of the day. This is an earth dweller of the day. This is the earth dweller of the day. Of the day. See what's walking See on what's the earth. Okay. On this earth. Okay. 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 Quiet to the earth dweller. Of the day, what? Bodhi says, <laughs> "Oh yeah, crap. Sorry, T. I was thinking of something you could win at for." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Maybe you could win that." That Maybe was a terrible get... setup for the I know, damn I, it up. I forgot. I forgot the the middle part of. I you put the dam, good, like I, I put the dam in damsel. <laughs> yeah, I seen I seen what you were trying to do, but uh, you followed it. Well, it's because I got I got trapped between two different ones. I was gonna say Deontay Wilder looked like a damsel <laughs> in distress, but damsel. then I, yeah, 
You tried to change I, it up on the fly and fucking sounded like an idiot. But then it was then I well at, at uh, Squirrels, I was setting this up and she goes, damn, that's beautiful. I said, yeah, it puts the damn and damselfly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so okay. I got I got caught up in between two jokes and fell down. Fell down pretty hard. That's what I do all the time, man. I got uh, knocked out. I thought he was going to throw right or left, and he went straight down the middle. He <laughs> <laughs> right in the gullet. Uh, this is damselfly. A lot of people mistake it with a dragonfly. Yep, I would have. How you can do de- de- How you can on my head? On my head? On my head? Can't have to go for Russia. How you can differentiate the damselfly from the fucking dragonfly? Okay, the dragonfly is a dragon, of course. They are. Oh, sim- <laughs> they're very similar. Yeah, uh, but the damsels the have damsel- skinnier bodies. Yeah, they have skinnier bo- bodies. They're they're uh, usually shorter. And, and if uh, you hate mosquitoes, you love these boys because they eat flies, mosquitoes, and other insects such as them. The two on the left, uh, when their wings are together, that's how you can tell it's a damselfly from a dragonfly. A dragonfly lays its wings down at its side. Okay. Um, I didn't know, uh, know that. And then on the right is how they mate the male. Uh, that's the male's tail that's in the female's head right there looking. And it's oh, so, so they, they have sex. He, She does, performs oral on him and she becomes pregnant? Yeah, dude, it's cool. Oh. <laughs> what a cool bug. Um, Sounds like I need to be a damsel fly. <laughs> me too. Uh, <laughs> and then what she does is after she's uh, ready to lay them eggs, she crawls into the water on like sticking up vegetation out of the water. She crawls into it, has an air shroud around her, and crawls down and plants her eggs at the bottom of her tail, pokes a hole, and puts them in the... Uh, Puts them in the plant and then keeps walking down and doing that. Doesn't put too many in the same spot. And then just like the dragonfly, their nymphs are very vicious predators in the the swamp area. Um, They like polluted area. They're not as super uh, because they still are an apex predator, but they're not. They'll get eaten by a dragonfly larva. And uh, and they swoop down like eagles on the on their insect prey. They swoop down. They they'll swoop them right up with. They got little little prickers on their legs, so they can just close their legs and fucking ca- capture that shit. So, um, every time I go kayaking, these always are around, and the reason why is because there's always a ton of bugs on top of uh, the river water and shit. They're, they're mating, they're doing their shit. And that's, I, I never know that's why you see so many damselflies. Everybody thinks they're dragonflies. Water but, fleas are considered to be the main food for the nymphs. Yeah, because they're small. They're small little predators. What kind, of, dragon- what kind of animals would eat one of these things? Birds. Uh, um, frogs, fish, birds, water beetles, other damselflies, giant water bugs, back swimmers, and water spiders. So every fucking thing, <laughs> you're a good food source for everything that's a water anything. Oh wow! Ah, uh, forget. No, I think that's all I have. Yeah, the oh, males are more colorful than the females. Um, the mating pair form a shape known as a heart or a wheel. <clears throat> yeah, they usually both connect. Oh, it says damselfly nymphs swim by fi- uh, by fish like... Hang on. I gotta figure this out. Dragonfly nymphs can forcibly expel water through their rectum for rapid escape from fish. That's what it was trying to say. Yeah, yeah but they, how they usually move is just they wiggle. They do the wiggle. They have three little flaps at the end of their tail when they're nymphs. They cannot walk. The, they what? They don't walk. They just land? They land, yep. Um, they're found everywhere in the world except for Antarctica. So it's abundant. 
very when is, when they've been alive like, they've been alive for 300 million years also what so they would have seen everything like they 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 ate mosquitoes that drank dinosaur blood yep <laughs> oh fuck Welcome to history class, children. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was that creepy or what? Do they sting? I didn't see anything about stinging or biting. No, they are harmless. Dragonflies will bite you. No, they won't. Sure will. I've been bit by one. Maybe. Maybe it was their, it wasn't them biting it. It was their spikes going into your finger. Grab gri- gripping onto you. Yep, they got a turbo oh, yeah. ass for sure. <laughs> he landed on me. There to tear up. Oh, that's pretty. I'm smoking. I like it. uh, I like how dense it came. It became. That's, that was just one of the little ones. Yeah, I know, but it's still dense. There's only a hole in the middle of it. It's a nice. It's a nice nugget. Nice nugget. Can so guess what? Back? Yesterday, yesterday, uh, I look outside before we went to do what we were doing, and I found that I seen a kitten. There was a like a medium sized kitten. It wasn't a brand new kitten, but like a toddler, like a four month old or six month old kitten, toddler. And I was like, "Go get it, Caleb!" And he took off after him and. Then it was me, Eli, and Caleb. We were chasing after this cat in the backyard, and it slammed into a fence. The fence tr- it couldn't figure out what to do. We, well, come to find out, its eyeballs b- bulging out of its head. That's why he couldn't see there was a fence there. We've got it trapped in the in the shed right now. It ran into the shed because I cleared it out because I'm gonna turn it into a sh- chicken coop, right? Yeah. And it just so happened to run into my trap. And uh, we trapped it in there and gave it food and water, called the vet, called the Humane Society. So it's still trapped in my shed right now. How bad is the bulging eye? Victoria says when she was rubbing it, uh, cleaning it, she was touching eyeball. So she went in there. She's like, I need to help it. She went in there. She's got fucking alcohol on a on napkin, and this kitten is like, <laughs> well, she didn't give a shit. She's over here meow, like talking to the cat, like she's a cat. And then the next thing you know, she's, hey, she's yeah, she's I'm here pet, to help you. She's cleaning this cat's fucking bloody mess, and the cat starts purring and fucking. Now she loves <laughs> this cat. Loves Dude. Victoria. She Victoria's got away with. Like she's for real is a healer. She's an animal dude. She is a healer, bro. If I have any question, I ask her, but Jess is the same way. Dude, you would never think, but she takes these cats that hate being picked up and picks up every single one of them in their own time and pets the shit out of them. If I picked them up, I mean, they like me petting them and and playing with them and shit. But if I pick them up, bro, they're trying to bite my jugular, dude. (laughs) Good job. She's the only one. Even the kids pick them, pick them up, and they fucking try to bite her. She she pulls them right up to her face. She's like, oh, the "Little man loves me so oh, much." that's I'm I'm better with dogs than I am with cats. I love cats, but I'm better with dogs because, like Bailey, <laughs> Bailey's over here. She's running shit before I got here. You know, going underneath yeah. the the uh, dresser. Nobody could get her out of the dresser at that point. Nowadays, you know, she'd get out of the gate and she'd take off. And no, all I got to do is yell her name. She, she stops. And then I tell her kennel. Yeah, that's it. Dude. And she Dude. she listens to me every single time, whether she's in her safe spots or, or escaped. And it's Dude, because she knows, she knows that I'm not afraid to come under that dresser and come get her. I don't care if she bites me. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, though, because m- dogs, I've learned, listen to me more than cats do. Cats, well, cats be- don't listen to nothing, dude. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They listen to Jess. Jess tells them, hey, you guys want to go outside? We'll come out here in the garage and smoke. No, the and vet hasn't seen it yet. 
Mitchell, we, we last night we caught it and then we had to, we went and took the kids to like a, a trunk or treat thing at their school. So they didn't, uh, we didn't, the vet actually didn't want, if, if we take it to the vet, it'll cost us money, the money. Cause it's, we're bringing it to the vet. So we're trying to bring it to a humane society that has a vet so that they can deal with it. Cause we tried to bring it to the local humane society and they didn't, don't have a vet on staff so that they can, it, because it's a medical issues, they can't take it. Oh, is it bad? I just told you it's eyeballs sticking, sticking out of it. Out. I'm, I haven't looked at it this morning because I, I came straight into here. So once I'm done here, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go check on the injured, the wounded. Yeah, because I locked her up in my shed with food and water and a and a towel. And a, uh huh, little cutie. And then yeah, it was all Victoria's idea. I told Caleb, I, I caught once I, I go, we trapped it. Now go get your mommy. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what do we do? He goes, what do we do with it? I don't know. Go ask your mom. <laughs> yeah. Because we not, do anything. We're all getting yelled at. Not I'm not lie. in charge of this one. I'm going to do what mama says. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm I trapped it. We trapped it. That was our job. And now she's got to hey, deal with it. <laughs> hey, we're men. We're hunter-gatherers, bro. They she's do the, everything else. She's, she's the, the healer. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my part of the tribe is done. Now go get your mom. <laughs> yeah. Go get the healer. I'm done. If I had to guess, I bet you these kids have already checked on it, even though they were told not to. Had to. If they're I awake, hear, they have. I hear them outside. I hear them in back of me. So <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, but. You fucking kids. If I had to put money on it, I would bet that they went and peeked into the shed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is he still there? <laughs> Caleb, check real quick. Do we, they won't even know we opened it. No, that'll be, Caleb, that would be that would be that would be Caleb. Caleb be oh. like, Caleb be like, open it. Nobody would even, you know, he'd be that guy. Oh, he's the antagonizer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. He gets him wrong. Adrian, Adrian antagonizes in her own way, but it's more of like a complaining ag- antagonizing. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I I had to, I was like yesterday I was like dude. Adriana, can you go 10 fucking minutes without crying about something? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, Jesus. Yeah, because she gets that whiny when you're boys. Yeah. That hits me me in my core. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, at least it's in safe hands. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) We'll take care of it. At first second, she's like, I want to keep it. It's our one-eyed kitten, you know. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, no, we don't need that. You don't want that kitten. You don't. I use in the forest on her. You don't want this kitten. Like she wakes up and you're over her. Like this, this kitten is not for you. Yeah, you're over you know, her. She's like, you know what? This kitten is not for me. <laughs> yeah. She she wakes up to candles around her and you have her on like a. a, a hard wood table and shit and you're doing a seance this kitchen don't need it or this kitten don't need us this, this kitten does this not is not the home for this kitten <laughs> yeah. she's like josh what are you doing go back to sleep victoria you will go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you wipe her eyes she's sleeping yeah this well, never happened yeah. <laughs> you will forget everything <laughs> oh shit let's get to this spotlight uh i was on squirrel's channel and i asked her to pick between two different ones and she chose this one this is squirrel's choice well i only gave her the titles of the videos i didn't you know give her the content so i told her are we gonna pick self-worth or are we gonna pick you versus you and if anybody knows squirrels what do you think she said self-worth that is exactly what she said self-worth so today, our our uh, spotlight video is about self-worth. I hope everybody enjoys it. We will be back in uh, six minutes. 
I want to share a very important story with you today. It's a story I think everyone should hear. Before he died, a father said to his son, here is a watch your grandfather gave you. It's almost 200 years old. Before I give it to you, go to the jewelry store in the city. Tell them that I want to sell it and see how much they offer me. The son went to the jewelry store, came back to his father and said, they offered $100 because it is so old. The father said, well, try the pawn shop. The son went to the pawn shop, came back to his father and said, the pawn shop offered only $20 because it has a scratch. The father asked his son to go to the museum and show them the watch. The son quietly questioned his father's judgment, but still willing to act on his father's last wishes, he went to the museum, and when he came back, he said to his father, the curator offered $375,000 for this rare piece to be included in their precious antique collection. The father responded, I wanted to show you that the right place will value you in the right way. Don't find yourself in the wrong place and get angry because you are not valued. Never stay in a place where someone doesn't see your value or you don't feel appreciated. If you don't know your value, you will always settle for far less than you deserve. People who don't know their value settle for far less than they are worth in relationships or their friendships. When it comes to their profession or their job, they know they are worth more, but they settle for someone else's definition of their worth. That is the difference between most people and the few. That is the difference between people who love the life they have created for themselves and those who can't stand the life they are living. You have to know your worth. Most people will allow just about anyone to influence their perception of themselves. But people who love their life refuse to accept the opinions of small-minded people. They refuse to be put in a box. They will not be defined by anyone but themselves. They know their value is set by themselves, by their own thoughts about who they are, not someone else's opinion of what they are worth. Don't let them put a price on you. You set your own price. And don't go giving discounts to other people so you can fit in or be liked. People pleasers never end up happy in the end. Put yourself first. You must build your self-worth by the work you do every day. You build it by the way that you show up every single day, day in and day out. No excuses, no shortcuts, just a relentless dedication to be the best that you can be. If you have someone in your life that tries to diminish your abilities in any way, the time has come to move those people along. It's time to awaken that part of you that demands more from your life. Because only you know what you are truly capable of. It's time to wake up and shock the world. Shock those who doubted you with a disturbing level of determination. Shock those who doubted you with a commitment to excellence that cannot be matched by those of weak heart. Shock those who doubted you with the actions you take today as you draw a line in the sand and commit to becoming the person no one thought you could be because only you know what you are truly capable of. In this world, you only have to earn the respect of one person. That person is you. You determine the level you demand of yourself. It's time to demand more. It's time to prove once and for all who you are, who you will become, and what you will never settle for again. Raise your standards. Rise up to a higher level. And let no one question your integrity again. Day by day, brick by brick, you start now. You build the foundations through the self-work you put in every single day. 
build yourself up by becoming an unbreakable force, an unstoppable machine, fueled by the results you get from the work you put in today and every day, from this day until your last day. No more will you settle for someone else's opinion of your value. Now you determine your value through your self-work, your self-education, your self-determination of your own destiny, the destiny that is in your hands. Your pride grows stronger every day from the work you put in. The time for change is now. When it comes to your own self-worth, there is no tomorrow. Know your worth and never, ever settle for anything less. That is the shit right there, bro. That is the shit. Know your worth. What up, Jody? Good morning. Know your worth. Don't settle for anything less. Came into that. Ooh. Sorry I'm late, people. Uh, All good. It's a rough morning over here. And it's a rough morning. You still look like Scotty? Uh, not really much, but a little. <laughs> Not very really much, but a little. <laughs> like, oh my god, that shit yesterday though, that was funny. Oh my god. When you put that post on there, I was like, dude, that's Scotty. That's a hundred percent Scotty with a lip ring. Lip, uh, yeah, like scroll, right, right. You're scrolling through. You're like, wait, you think that it's really his Facebook you're going by? But yeah. I said, bro. I said, I, I was like shocked. I was like, dude. Dress like Scotty or do whatever. We'll have something with Scotty on. What about the, B Scotty? <laughs> the theme of the party was so awesome. That was so funny, though. Everybody was dressed up like him. No, everybody like, was. That's funny. Everybody was dressed like him. Yeah. Well, not everybody. B party. I got to do that at BT Rep party. Everybody wears a muumu. Oh yes, God, yeah. I, that is like, gonna be a real thing now. Like for real, I had no thing, no idea those existed, and now I do. And then, yeah, we'll all like have like because uh, my brother has this big ass tattoo on his back that says Brantley, <laughs> so everybody had it sharpied across their back. <laughs> a giant tattoo that said Brantley. <laughs> <laughs> so now That's we're all awesome. recovering, and some bitch lost her keys. Some bitch, I ain't some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a bitch, Ross. I mean, you, know, you know, we'll probably get a lot of views if I show your ass show online. Like, you get this girl's ass, all right? She got ass. There comes the viewers. <laughs> we get Watch out, Brangers gonna go on top yeah, today. Sneak peek, tip shot one day, and then. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell Victoria about that. I was going to tell her about it last night, and then something else came up before I could get it out because I don't, you know, conversation, you don't interrupt when someone else is talking type thing, oh, you know. <laughs> Jody Strip teased on fucking Light It Up this morning. Yep. Oh, funny. That was great. The sky is beautiful, though. I'll tell you that. It yep. really is. Like, oh, my, I'm not going to lie. I just took some headache medicine and. I had Did you wash your mouth out with this soap? <laughs> I started my morning with Mountain Dew. Oh. oh you, you gotta wash your mouth out with this soap still, bro. <laughs> I, ch I, sh I swig Mountain Dew around in my mouth. That's <laughs> not good either. But you yeah, know, like, it tastes so Hey, bad. when it's you like, were... <laughs> your mouth when... washing with Mountain Dew. What? Hey, when you were Scotty, you had the Mountain Dew in your pants. The <laughs> can of dip in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> disc golf. That motherfucker's obsessed with disc golf. Oh, and a disc in your pants, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. Don't fret about my frisbee, T Rup. Not a Don't frisbee, fret. it's a disc golf. See, it's a disc I was talking it's about. Different. I was tripping one day, and some dude, I was fretting about some dude's frisbee, and he was like, T Rup. Don't fret on my frisbee. If it was mine, it'll come back. And it came back. <laughs> and it did. Oh, it did. It did. Yeah. <laughs> like a boomerang. No, yeah, no it, was like, like, it was like it had a a, a Jimmy seeker on it. You know, <laughs> he just yeah. found Jimmy. 
I said, dude, I want to find you. We searched the whole island. Was gone, was, it was gone for like three hours. <laughs> yeah. And he and then I was like, dude, did you find the frisbee? He was like, Don't fret on my frisbee, T Rup. If it was mine, it'll come back. And like an hour later, he comes back. He's like, T Rup, look. I was like They have boxes <laughs> that they drop those in and they write their name and phone number and shit on them. In case people find your desk and they want to be like, they can call and tell you they found your desk. I did see Grant. Grant has one that he that he lost. Somebody found it, called him. He didn't pick it up, and now somebody new is calling him. <laughs> At least you're adamant about getting him his disc back. No, like as in somebody used else used it, lost it, and somebody else found it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after you call, they don't answer. I guess then boom, it's yours. You tried. Oh, he didn't answer. New frisbee, boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good morning, simply. You guys. Yesterday, I wanted to do some acid, right? But I felt like I would be like really confused because I looked so much like my brother. I would probably be like, "I'm Scotty Brantley, 27, Monroe, Michigan." Like da da da. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Scotty Brantley, 27, Monroe, Michigan." <laughs> Birthday, I am 178 pounds. I am here. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it would have gotten her head so much. She'd have came out, she'd have been like, Good morning, boys. How you doing? Had a dip in and shit. <laughs> yeah, her, name, her name would be Brain Jerk Scotty, <laughs> right? I chugged Mountain Dew and smoked a bowl. I feel like I'm still in character. <laughs> That's oh. funny as shit. Oh, everybody wakes up. If everybody did acid at a be me party, they all wake up. They're like, "Who am I? Who the oh. fuck?" Am no, I? we would all say, "Fuck, thank God, I'm not tear up anymore." <laughs> That's a rough life. Dude, <laughs> would you imagine everybody would have to draw on their face? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've I've, I've done that before. Over our face for you, yeah. Remember the last time I had long hair? I braided it like a juggalo and put tattoos on my face, and I was a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> love that. Love that. You do need a dread right here, bro. Dude, I, I might, I might dread a little bit on the side, so it just hangs off my side. All right. Put a feather in there. I put a feather in my cap. Fun. Fun. Dude, I'm a fucking fun. IT guy. If you guys need anything done, uh, technology wise, <laughs> call your boy. What? Uh, okay. Deal. Sorry, boy, he's got you. Uh, Josh, <laughs> you didn't ask a question, but I'm already quitting my job now. <laughs> I know <laughs> you're gonna come at me with like four things. I'll be like, dude. Well, I got I got a whole list of things for you. <laughs> Here, uh. <laughs> edit this video no Josh, actually, you know, actually i need uh i need the, the new uh i need new new what editing software yes you gotta wait until the 19th or i'm just i know i get you but just don't forget all right i'll talk to them about it today talk to our real it guy <laughs> Hey, uh, <laughs> I didn't even call my. I didn't even call Doug or Gerald. I'm the. I'm just a producer. I'm not the IT guy. Yeah, I didn't even call Doug or Gerald. I I, I hit by the fucking uh, the internet, and then I had the modem here already, and I plugged it in, and I just looked up what I had to do. Good morning, all Kirk all off. Off. Good morning, Red Beard. He says I was those? sleeping in yesterday morning. I did almost 24 hour outdoor adventure. That'd have been sick. One of these adventures, dude, red beard. Listen, I was like, look at me in my eyes right now. Hang on, Jody. Hang on, Jody. This has all my weed in it. Red beard. Look at me in my eyes right now. If you don't take me on one of your adventures soon, I'm going to be highly upset with you. Josh, I don't necessarily want to fish with you, but I want to go on adventures because you you smash good things, and I Josh, want to. Josh, okay. I need you to carry on need, with the show. I need you to take I need you to take that into consideration that everybody has a Randy Barton death story. I know, I and I want one. 
I fucking want one. The God damn it. I kind of do too, but I'm crippled. Now. I don't want to get in too crazy. <laughs> well, I'm here. We, I've been on. I've been. I will tell you this. I have my own Randy Barton story already. Me and him went out mushroom hunting one time. Right. Simple. What the, what the fuck could happen when we're out? Uh, fungus, dude. That's all you were doing. Dude, a whole herd of deers walked up on us. And we've just dropped to the ground and, and crawled up to the underbush. And these deer were like from from it, from me to the house away. You know, the it's not yeah. that it was super close. Like and that was with me and Redbeard. I've had those things happen before, but that was a me and Re maybe that was a Redbeard and me story. But that's that's the story I have with Red. You didn't die, though. You have yeah. to, you have to almost. Yeah. But have to we saw majestic creatures up close in person. Yeah, but you have to like like what Robert said. You have to see your life flash through your eyes. I've been nervous about that. That's why I haven't gone fishing with him. Don't go fishing with Randy. <laughs> he will catch the awesomest fish. He the will. Best fish he, in the world. Succeeds. he succeeds every time. I like it makes me think like these uh, these people are lying. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> But it's it's a fucking it's an adventure. Let's put yeah. it that way. You're in a movie every time. Yeah. Well, I found Red, me and Redbeard the first time me and Redbeard hung out. We fished at the uh, you know how you go in the, on the Pleasance Road, and there's that side over to South Other Creek. There's that shortcut right yeah. there. That's where we went fishing. Oh, uh, the bridge right there. Yep. That's the first time I ever hung out with him. Yep, you were on dry land, so you were fine. I mean, we've we've been on adventures together, but I'm working up the courage to go fishing with him. Dude, Robert, Robert was like, I got my fishing license, damn it! And Robert, also, I'm gonna get my hunting license, so I want to shoot a deer. And my my girlfriend's really adamant about it too. <laughs> Guys, yeah, should go. I would like to shoot a I like venison meat better than beef meat, anyways, and I'd prefer to. He said beef meat. <laughs> Have you ever caught a deer? You said no, right? Oh, well, I don't catch deer. No, you don't catch them, you shoot them. I trapped a few I of them, but I let them go. Uh, I've never, I have never shot a deer personally i've shot other animals like birds and stuff but never i've never got my whole family's like avid hunters they've hunt elk and gone out of you know different countries and states to hunt different animals and but i got I my i got my youth license went went uh small game hunting didn't really see anything then i went deer hunting and see my first deer die i'll never do it what up mj how you I'm doing brother, brother? Good to see you. That motherfucking deer, when we came up to it, said, was saying shit that I would say, like, ah, ah. I was like, dude, that's me groaning. Red Bear said, I've groaning. never caught a deer. Shot a few. <laughs> and I think I would reuse a, I would like to use a crossbow. Yeah, that'd be like, sweet. Overall, like, if I turned into this, this, awesome hunter you know i would want i would want to use a regular bow but for for now i would think a crossbow would be just fine dude if, if josh was in the woods with a fucking dude you bow, don't you don't want you don't want me in the woods with a bow dude i will he be would take black paint like this and he would be walking he wouldn't even be waiting for him he'd be yep. like i know what a deer are i'm 100%. going to get him See? And he'd have a top hat on or something stupid with leaves on it. <laughs> I would 100%. I would not want to. I Like, I will, for my first few times hunting, I will sit in the stand. But my ultimate goal is to hunt in that fashion, t Row. He's like, he just paints his face and he's like, I don't need this fucking bone. And he, he just, next clip you see him, I, he's I got start a deer in a rear naked. <laughs> he's got a deer in the rear naked choke. He's just torching it. This is how you get him, buddy. <laughs> you wait till the horns fall off so you can't boil you like Grino. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. 
All right. I, it's I, that, it's, I wanted to swing in. I'm getting out of here because I got to get my life together. I got to get to my car somehow. Go get my kid. I, I'm out here walking around and it's wet and I got socks on and all my socks are wet. And that's a gross feeling. Yeah, she's have having a good day, Scotty. Issues. Later, Scotty. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. Peace Brain out, everybody. Scotty. Thanks for coming in, as always. We love you all. It was good all. seeing you, Brain Jerk, Scotty. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Brought to you by Brain Jerk. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm with my people, man. I'm with the gang. Uh, my heart hurt. I can't help but sing. Uh, 